Hey guys, it's me, Callie. Today I'm going to show you how I created this journal page for the Gypsy and the Witches Summer Solstice theme. I created this page using a variety of mixed media techniques and I had a lot of fun doing it. So if you'd like to see how I did it, please stick around. And when you're done checking out this video, make sure you go check out my Gypsy sister, Miss Rita Marie. I'll put all links below, as well as a link to our Facebook group, The Gypsy and the Witch, where each month we pick a new theme and you can interpret it however you wish. I hope you enjoy. Stick around. See you in a minute. Okay guys, so to get started today, I think that I'm going to be using some construction paper and I have some good fiery solar colors and I'm just going to rip up strips and you know, you guys know me, this will allow me time to try to think of where I'm going to go with this page, but... I'm just going to rip up strips randomly and we're going to use some decoupage matte medium and I'm going to randomly glue these down. And this will give us a good base and I'm not sure if I want to put paint over this or spray inks. Maybe we'll do some stenciling. I don't know. But I just thought about doing the construction paper and so that's why we're doing it. I don't know if these are color fast or if they're going to bleed. We'll find out. I just think it'll give it a good texture for us to work on. And the paint will seep into it in different places and things like that. And again, it will allow me time to try to think of where I want to go. This might be, I guess I'll cover the whole base. I wasn't sure if I wanted to leave some spots open or not. So... I'm just going to finish doing this, you guys, and I'll see you back here when it's all done. Okay, so here's where we're at. I'm going to let this dry overnight, and tomorrow, I don't know what we're going to do. I'm thinking maybe some spray inks and some stencils. So I'll see you in the morning. Okay, so this is nice and dry. And I really debated on what to do next. At first, I thought I was going to lay down some acrylic paint on top of this. Then I thought about stamping. I've decided to use some texture paste and a stencil. And, you know, we have these solar colors. And I thought it was only appropriate to, you know, I could have done some suns, but the spiral, I think, is very appropriate right now. And I'm using my homemade texture paste which is basically Mod Podge acrylic paint and baby powder and cornstarch. It varies according to how much I use and what I have on hand. So I'm just going to lay some of this down and in a few places. And then I think I will do some um, either paint or spray ink on top of this. Let's see, these usually take pretty good if I don't mess with it too much. I'm just going to put a few around. Of course, I should have mixed it better. It's pretty lumpy right there. I'll just wipe that part off. There we go. Ah. Let's see. Yeah, that'll dry nice. It dries super hard. So, I'm not using the greatest of technique here, but you get the idea, right? Where's my little palette knife? So 
This will take a while to dry to really set up firm, but I should be able to paint over it in about an hour or so. I'm just going to probably do like maybe five of these. And I'm going to try to keep the uh, center open a little bit for some kind of a focal point. Still haven't decided if I'm just going to use an image or an actual creature or something. Who knows? I don't know. And how about one more in the other corner? I got this stencil years ago in a journal. It was like a kid's journal um, that came with a jelly roll pen. And I have no idea what happened to the journal, but I kept the stencil and I've used it a few times, especially lately. And it's really durable. And like I said, I've had it for years. That's good. I just put my hand in the other one. But we don't really care. Okay. Laying down the spirals as we dance the spiral dance of life. Life and death and rebirth and life and death and rebirth all over again. And here we are at solstice celebrating. So I'm going to let that dry and then I will be back with, I want to drip paint. I have a need to drip on this. So be back to drip. Okay, these are nice and dry now. It's been a couple of days, you guys. And I decided that I'm going to go in with a stencil. Surprise, surprise. So I have this Andy Skinner in Sunburst. Very fitting. And I'm going to use my uh, Decor Media Misters acrylic sprays. I love them. They're permanent. And I really like to use them a lot. So... Let's just kind of go in. I'll do, I have um, yellow, and then we'll do orange, and this one is a Shimmer Mister in Primary Magenta. These two are Shimmer Misters. This one's just a regular. I have a bunch of them. I really like them. And I've had no problems with any of the sprayers, with the exception of the purple which is my favorite color, but they work pretty well. So, I'm just going to kind of I shook these up really good before. And then outside. Whoop. Still haven't decided what I'm going to be using as a focal image. Um, obviously it's going to have a sun incorporated in it. Let's see what we get. All right. I don't know. doesn't look like much of anything now. I'm just gonna, this looks cool. I'm just going to take it on a piece, a blank piece of paper. Now we're talking. That looks great. So I'll save these, obviously, to use in other projects or maybe even this project. Who knows? Yeah, that looks beautiful. Really loving that. So anyway, this is um, a little more subtle, but just because of the colors of the construction paper behind it. But I still think it's pretty. And when this dries, yeah, you know, I want to do more around it. What do you think? Maybe I'll just do... Should I just do some drips 
or random spray. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, does it? Um, I'm just going to kind of spritz it a little bit. There we go. I just don't like the contrast of the, you know, busyness of there, and then it just abruptly stops, even if I give it a border later. I'll just kind of randomly let these guys go. Yeah, I like that better. What do you think? Would you have left it there? Yeah, when this dries, I'm going to come back in, I think, and do a little stenciling on top of my hands. So I'll see you back here when this is dry. Okay, guys, I thought I'd do a little stamping in the background just because there's never enough going on. Uh, and I just have this little Tim Holtz background kind of pattern. Gonna use my stays on jet black and just gonna kind of randomly go around and fill in some of this background. I've decided to do a sun image, big surprise. Um, so I took some of the, I'll show you in a second, I took some of this paper that we rubbed off the stencil on and I drew out a small sun face just in pencil and I'm going to color that in either with my colored pencils probably some marker and colored pencil and then we'll cut out some rays and celebrate the sun at its highest point in the sky and I just think it's funny that so many people, you know, consider the summer solstice to be the beginning of summer when in fact it is the beginning of the waning half of the year. And the nights grow longer and it will be getting colder, believe it or not, even though it doesn't feel like that. But for now, we're going to celebrate the warmth of the sun and the power of the sun and the transformative power and the bounty of the season and that's that okay guys a lot of this will probably get covered up anyway so I'm not gonna worry too much about it and I'll show you what I drew Eh, I'm not crazy about it, but I don't hate it either. And a lot of times these things come together in the end. So there's that. I showed you before the um, paper that we rubbed the stencil off onto. And I don't know how closely you can see, but I've gone around with my pencil. I drew a circle and I drew some rays of the sun. I'm going to cut those out. And then up here... I cut out this circle and I just did a face and I'm going to like I said color that in sorry about the glare hello can't have some kind of filming issue per video I'm gonna color it in with marker and colored pencil probably and put that I don't want you to see this upside down but here and then with the rays of the Sun coming out and then We'll do some doodling around and a border and just make the pull the page together. So I'll see you back here when everything's cut out and colored up and we'll glue it down. Okay, guys, I have to apologize. I inadvertently deleted the footage where I show you how I colored and what I did here. So I apologize and I'll just take it from here. I basically did what I told you I was going to do. I used some of my um, Prismacolor markers to color the sun. I cut out those rays from that paper that we stenciled off onto. And all I did was glue them on with some tacky glue. 
and I've left the rays free so they're kind of springy and I colored the spirals. I just used my Faber-Castell pit pen and just went over those to bring them out a little bit. And I also used one of my DecoArt um, Media Spray Misters and just splattered some white. I was hoping to tone it down a little bit, but it is busy. Um, the last and final step, really, you guys, I'm going to call this done, is to add a border. And all I'm going to do is to lay down a line of this tacky glue. And then I've used this glitter before in this journal. This is Jumbo Glitter. Um, it's a Halloween blend, but look how great those oranges and golds are. So I'm just going to do a very thin line around the whole edge and lay down the glitter. And we're going to call it a happy solstice page. And I hope you enjoyed it. So I'll see you back here after I get the glitter down and we'll call it done. Okay, so the glitter is dry now. And I think we're going to call it done, you guys. What do you think? I know the background is a little busy, but I think it's full of that powerful sun energy. So lots of love, lots of blessings. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out my beautiful gypsy sister, Miss Rita Marie. I'll put her link below, as well as our Facebook group, The Gypsy and the Witch. We encourage you guys to join us. Each month we post a new prompt. And you can interpret however you wish. So I'll see you guys next month and have a beautiful solstice. Take care.